Conversions are not easy, but you can do it. Let's go. Here we need to change 18.5 centimeters squared to inches squared. First, we need to identify what conversion factor will help us to go from centimeters squared to inches squared. If you pick up any conversion table or a chart, you may find that one inch, one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Your conversion table may have another conversion factor like this. One inch squared equals 6.45 centimeters squared. What if you don't have this conversion factor? You can square both sides of this conversion factor to change it to square units. So if your conversion table has this conversion factor, we are ready to go. But if your conversion table doesn't have square units, this is what you do. You will square both sides in this conversion factor. So one squared, it means one times one. So one inch squared, and then you just pick a calculator, 2.54 times 2.54. So 2.54 times 2.54, you will get 6.45, 16 square centimeters. You see? All right, so we are ready to go. The first step, tells us to write the original measurement as a fraction. So what do we have here? We have 18.5 centimeters squared over one. So we wrote it as a fraction and we are ready to multiply. The second step tells us to write a conversion factor in such a way so that our original units cancel out. So I'm gonna take our conversion factor and plug it in in such a way right here so my original units cancel out. My original units on top in the numerator, right? So I will write centimeters squared in the denominator so my original units cancel out and I'm left with inches squared. So I will write inches squared in the numerator on top. How do I know I'm doing, I'm setting it up correctly? I am setting it up so my original units cancel out. So, and then I'll put the numbers here, right from the conversion factor. So I'll put one here, and here I'll put 6.45, 16. You see? Very good. Your original units canceled out, and you're left with inches. And you are ready to do the math. So what do we do? We multiply the numbers on top in the numerator, right? Then we multiply the numbers in the denominator, and then we do division. So 18.5 times 1 will be 18.5, right? 18.5 inches squared, right? And then in the denominator, what numbers do we have? 1 times 6.45, 16 will stay like this. And 6.45. 16. And then what do we do? We just divide the numbers, right? So let's pick a calculator and divide. So 18.5 divided by 6.45, 16. And we'll have this long number, 2.86705735. We have inches squared, right? We're not gonna use this long number. Let's round it to the nearest hundreds. So this eight is in the tenths place, six is in the hundreds place, right? So let's underline, let's underline. We are gonna look at the number to the right. The number to the right is seven, which is greater than five. So we'll round up. We will have 2.87 inches squared. If seven were zero, one, two, and four, we will leave six by itself. It will be 2.86. So we got our answer. It is 2.87 inches squared. So that's it. Conversions are not easy, but you can do it. Check out my other videos and I will see you in my next video.